This is FCF Life Centre, the church on the highway, where some 700 men, women and children worship God. Every Sunday morning, they attend services to glorify God in all His majesty. Hi, I'm Rosalind and I'm 25 years old. I was born in 1988. Although I was still a baby then, I was there during the first church service. In the next few moments, I invite you to come with me on a journey to revisit FCF's history. Pastor Rudy Tan, our senior pastor, recalls the initial years. It was in August of 1988 when FCF celebrated our first morning service in Progress Hall in West Maine. In the same year, we decided to join affiliate with the Church of the Four Square Gospel of Australia. Raphael Anicho was appointed pastor by the Four Square Presbytery. And on that day, the attendance was historic, 80 men, women, and children. 1988 was the year that the church was formally formed. The Lord blessed His new church with a gracious spirit that drew many people and seasoned leaders alike. But it was not always like that because it grew out of a prayer meeting in Riverwood of New South Wales. We started at Riverwood where, where Maria and Rafi lives. There were nine of us in that group. Rene and Narcy Coloma, Rudy and Margot Cabrera, Nick and Elo Pangilinan, Rafi and Marila Landicho, and myself. Every week, actually, we started to meet in every house, different houses, and from that time on, a lot of people come to the, came to the Lord, and that's how it started. Because of the blessings of joy that we received, we decided to meet on a monthly basis. We invited our friends and relatives, people even from our own churches, because we had different churches we belonged to in those times. And then from that small group, it went to 30, decided to worship the Lord, pray together, study the Word of God, having fellowship together. And in that case, our fellowship grew, not only in numbers, but in our the strength of our relationship. The homes could no longer contain the number of people attending, and therefore, the fellowship decided in 1984 to move the Sunday afternoon meetings monthly and fortnightly to the Stockland Library in Weddell Park. It was funny though because because the people still attended the churches in the morning, whether it's Roman Catholic, Baptist, Uniting, or even Pentecostal churches. It was also during these years that beliefs and doctrines were discussed by members because of discussion concerning the Pentecostal move. But in the end, what prevailed was um, the truth regarding the full gospel and therefore we remained in that. 1989 heralded the period of expansion for the fellowship, evidenced by new faces appearing every Sunday uh, service. In fact, we were able to baptize more than 200 people, men, women, and children, in our backyard pool. We are here in our backyard, and um, I'm happy to be here because uh, as I stand here right now, I remember those days when uh, water baptisms were held here during the early years of our church. Uh, there were a lot of uh, people who come here, they queue in line, like uh, hundreds of people, and we, we just have a very small um, above ground swimming pool. Uh, it's uh, actually a children's swimming pool, like it's only four feet deep, and a lot of people have been baptized here. Uh, the fellowship also spread the word of God. Uh, through a choir. We had a couple in those days named Fred Cafe and Dolan Cafe, and they were very musical, and so they taught us a lot of uh, gospel songs as well as secular songs. 
and so uh, the, uh, the, the choir was known by so many churches that, that they invited us every now and again to sing in, the, in, in, in their congregation. We even went uh, as far as Springwood in Blue Mountains and we were all singing. So really the spirit of merriment and fun was very contagious in those days and that's why uh, a lot of Filipinos were attracted to us. In the last quarter of 1989, the first pastor of the church resigned to live in Queensland. Rudy Tan was chosen to serve as senior elder by his peers and subsequently installed as pastor in December by Reverend Don Baker, president of Forcewell Gospel Australia, and Pastor Bruce Banton, then the district supervisor. With the desire to be a functioning church with formal accreditation and a full-time pastor, the church decided to bring in a pastor from the Philippines, Pastor Rudy Fetulsana, in May 1990. Through the continuous prayer, evangelism and invitations, the church at this time has outgrown its worship place in Westmead and moved their meetings to the William Stinson Primary School at Wetherill Park. Attendance has peaked at 200 plus people every Sunday. Through the Lord's guidance and wisdom, as well as the dedication and commitment of leaders and members, outreach churches were opened at Wollongong in 1989, in Belmore in 1990, and Parramatta in 1991. FCF purchased a piece of land in Ninchenberry in 1990, and construction started in the year 1992. But even before that, ministry is flourishing. We have the Ingleburn Church, which was chartered in 1991. And the Wulugung Church was chartered in 1993. Pastor Rudy Tan was appointed as a senior pastor in February 1995. And he became a full-time pastor of FCF in July 1995. We today stand with you and thank God for you. We lay our hands upon you. We set you apart. To the ministry that God has called you to. Set you apart as senior pastor to function in this ministry. Lord Jesus, we pray right now for your anointing, for your blessing to be upon Pastor Rudy Tan. We thank you. By God's amazing grace, many people were uh, drawn to the church. Uh, a lot of our members invited people. Church grew steadily. Then in early 1995, the church building was nearing completion. Then suddenly we found out that we still need some money. There was some $100,000 short. The problem was resolved by the grace of God when members willingly pledged funds for the completion of the building project. Indeed, Members and leaders also gave their time and effort in the finishing touches with tiling, building cabinets, and painting. Many people, including Pastor Bruce Banton, saw God's vision for this church that they supported as well this completion. In July 1995, the Church Sanctuary FCF Life Center was open to the praise and glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The event was raised by the Board of Directors of Foursquare Australia, and the key speaker at the time was Pastor June Ferres uh, of Capital City Foursquare Church, at the time President of Foursquare Philippines. Of the Filipino Christian Fellowship, <coughs> my wife and I, senior ministers, are much privileged to officially open this house of prayer, this place of worship, FCF Life Center, to the praise and the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, later that year, the two outreaches work in uh, Belmore and Parramatta were chartered as autonomous churches under the Foursquare umbrella. By the end of 1998, the church had some 400 members. But somehow, this figure decreased. 
God, in His uh, answer to the prayers of many, pointed to another direction for this church. Some other people, churchgoers from other nationalities, were ministered to by many, by church members, and somehow many people from other ethnic groups start coming to the church. And by 2000, the church leadership, in reflecting to this new direction, changed the name of the church into FCF Life Center, the church on the highway. Heaven's gates and hell's flames. I remember a full packed car park and a church as hundreds of people came to watch the play enacted by our members. Praise God, there were around 170 souls to Christ. There were also various church presentations which highlighted God's supreme sacrifice to bring souls to Him. Easter presentations were supplemented with Christmas musicals and other topical and seasonal activities. The FCF family never got tired of producing and creating vehicles to express their God-given talents and ultimately present God's love to the public. There was a time in the olden days when God opened up a door for us to reach the people in the western suburbs by way of a weekly radio program that featured the Word of God and Christian music. We know in our hearts that God used this to spread His love and encourage listeners that by His love, people were touched. That's a miracle that what's happening in different areas like Pinchinbury, Penrith, Blacktown, and Fairfield. And through evangelism, we witness a lot of people. We bring them all to the Lord and uh, we help them in their walk with God. FCF leadership is uh, encouraging all these uh, members, uh, especially the, the new ones, to attend the uh, Saturday night teachings with Pastor Rudy Tan. All through the years, FCF never relented on prayer. Pastors and elders, they meet every first Saturday of the month to pray very early in the morning. There's also the intercessory prayer meeting every Tuesday nights for men and women. And we have the prayer rally on Wednesday nights and dozens of people come and attend. The youth also have started praying during uh, Sunday before the services. And also in 1999, we have started the prayer circles and it was really a good training ground for people because more and more people have learned how to pray boldly. And God was so faithful because He has answered so many prayers. We have heard so many victories in people's lives. God is truly a great provider for all our needs. Highlighted in 2004, the Lord miraculously provided a vacant lot, 3,300 meters. It now serves an additional parking for at least 110 cars and allowing us to build a place dedicated to the children's and youth ministry. The construction of the FCF Growth Center began in 2005, opening in October 2006. In the past, past few years, we've seen tremendous growth in our youth ministries that has allowed us to restructure to cater for different age groups, starting from YD Relive, reaching out to kids from year six to year nine, then YD Engage, reaching out to high schoolers from year 10 to year 12. Then we have the young adults, YD Life, reaching out to anyone that's out of high school up to the age of 25. And even including young couples, anyone that is young and married, and definitely the ones with kids as well. And over those years, I've seen God really move in our young people. I've seen vibrancy in worship, I've seen a love for the Word of God. I've seen creative ways that have, they have if, if reached out to, to others. I've seen leaders rise up. I've seen a generosity in the way that they give time to serve and, and to really release themselves to what God has called them. God has really done something amazing beyond what I've ever thought of in our youth, in our young people. 
His faithfulness continued in the next five years, despite our missteps, fumbling, and occasional shortcomings. God continues to establish His church, and over the years, He has given us a mission to reach, strengthen, nourish, and release. The members' understanding of why we exist continues to grow through focused preaching and the introduction of social media to include website, Facebook, and through the internet. So we had a lot of um, teaching camps and they were put in remote sites um, and these helped to facilitate learning and fellowship. Um, there was a really good balance of both teaching and free time so that it allowed um, our leaders to spend time with their families and enjoy the resorts. Over the years we've tried our best to keep up with the times in terms of ministry um, so that we could present uh, the gospel in the best way possible um, through musical instruments, through our multimedia, through sound equipment and video equipment. Um, we've always tried to maintain a high quality of, of uh, presenting his gospel. A church van was obtained in 2011 primarily for the use of church members, especially the seniors and the youth. Thank God for his provision. We did also the concept of uh, continuous improvement. The church has been debt free since 2010. God is really faithful. In terms of people, by his grace, we witnessed and experienced numerous victories over their lives. Fairness, sickness, marriage and health problems, financial difficulties, spiritual bondage, jobs and many more. The goodness of God and the generosity of His people have brought the spirit of joy and merriment. Our Christmas anniversaries and Valentine celebrations have always been graced with food and fun. We conducted many faiths during our numerous uh, church activities and one successful faith was in 2010 where we brought in carnival rides to the satisfaction of children, the youth and the adults. We thought these faiths are one way of extending our joy to the Lord and His love for our neighbors and our outer community as well. Our first carols in the car park last Christmas and the musical presentation, Scrooge, also drew people to focus on Jesus as the reason for the season. One milestone for FCF was when we partnered with an international Christian organization called Compassion. Currently, I believe we have about 66 to 70 children in the Philippines being sponsored by families in FCF. This is a long-term commitment um, supporting children until they finish high school or even college. Also, um, overseas trip missions have enabled FCF to support three pioneering churches in the Philippines. So praise God. We have the opportunity to build four houses for the homeless in the Philippines through Gawad Kalinga. Also, we joined the Australian Samaritan Purse we put uh, items in shoe boxes last December 2012. Our support through the hospitals and the charity organizations had helped a lot of Australian children also. Praise God for opening doors to serve in various community services through NATO, uh, which is short for Nipian Area Disabilities Organization helping them with their arts and crafts, uh, providing meals, helping them during their sports activities and even their dance fests. Our hospital chapel ministry in Mount Druid Hospital continues to uh, share the gospel to the sick and the weary. Uh, we really praise God for how He loves all His creation. As our church uh, continues to minister in the community and overseas, um, God's been faithful to make sure that we continue growing. Uh, we started a program uh, for Bible reading and the whole church was reading the Bible and then eventually we got into SOAP, which is uh, kind of a more in-depth devotional uh, journal kind of format. Um, I've seen its effects uh, in the youth and I know that the home care group leaders are doing it as well. 
and it's just really been great to know that God is uh, faithful and um, desiring for us to grow more in the knowledge of Him and most importantly to apply what we learn. Praise God for the way He has led us and supported us. We've seen a lot of growth in FCF and about 90% of the seats are full and some people still stand on a Sunday. And for this very reason, our church decided to move forward into double services on 030313, where Sunday services changed from just 9.30 a.m. service to now 8.30 and 11 a.m. There has been no regrets moving into double services. Everything went incredibly well and we believe that we are definitely in God's hands. We stand in expectation and believing for the multiplication and the expansion that God has promised through Pastor Rudy Tan. We rise to thank and praise our God for His faithfulness through the years, reaching out to each one of us from our personal walk, gathering us to be His own people, nurturing us in His Word, strengthening us by His love, and leading us to the highest fulfillment of His intended purposes. We fix our eyes on Jesus, encouraged by His vision for expansion, and as He tarries in His return, we will move out of the four walls of the church. We will reach our neighborhood. We will launch into addressing the need of the community. We will bring the love of Jesus to those who are hurting. We will progressively reach the poor and the needy with provision of God's nourishing help. We will press hard into the land of shadows and bring the light of God's gospel and His salvation. FCF at 25, Hear the clarion call of the Lord, and we will rise as one and march behind the Lord Jesus, knowing that He will guide us where He wants us to go, knowing that we will be totally fulfilled. No turning back. No turning back.